The icon shown here will have a blue circle around it when the car is put into full self-driving mode. If I turn the steering wheel or touch the brake, the blue circle will disappear and the car will go back to manual mode with me in full control of it. Slowing down for all the speed bumps, even at night. car. There you go. Good job. stopped thinking that was a stop sign which it legally looks like one it's got stop signs on either side of the road now turn right on it's just the stop signs from the gate when it's closed we're facing the other direction it's twisty up here
thinks there's a stop sign here, but there's not, or I'm not sure. It doesn't show a stop sign on the map. Now this curve right here used to be just a curve. It was not a stop sign, but now it is. But that entrance over there is new. So there used to be just a through right here. So there would be no reason to turn on a blinker, which is why I think it's not turning on the blinker. I think it's a map issue. to Eno Street, then turn left to stay on Eno Street. Interesting. <laughs> I saw the person on the screen before I saw the person for real. It's two people. Now two turn people. right onto Eno Street. It did it! Now turn left to stay on Eno Street. Okay, and it's got the left blinker on. This is different. This is improved. This is improved. Now your destination is on the left. Oh, shoot. Alright, yeah, yeah, my destination. Cancel that. That improved quite a bit. It's showing people over there, and there are people seated over there. Let me get out of the way. I'll go ahead and break it. We're going to go over here, and we'll figure out if we're going to do anything else. If you've seen my previous videos, you'd recognize this is that gravel road out in the woods when I had the super shaky cam that was sort of at an angle. Um, I went back out there and I thought I'd try it again, but this time I thought I'd try it at night. And the rest of the video is just driving down this road and back again. Uh, it's very similar to the previous video. It successfully makes the entire route down the road and back. It does not encounter any oncoming cars. Um, there is a separate video that is a, I think it's like a 37 minute long video of all of the night driving I did that night. If you want, it's in the description. You can click on that. Uh, there's also a link in the description to the camera mount setup because some people had asked about the camera mount setup. So there's two videos linked in the description, and um, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Let me look at the screen and see what the difference between brights and regular. Well, I'm kind of going uphill right now, so let's see. Around this curve, there's that speed bump. <laughs> bump. So non brights and get some sort of a distance here. Here we go. Brights. It may make a little bit of difference. I don't see much of a difference here with the brights. navigation um, and just let it keep going to the end of the road the previous versions it would just go to the end of the road and just come to a stop as if it's a dead end and I assume it's going to do the same in this version but I'll just let it do that so you can see what it does
Okay, so the car found a driveway on the right and started going down the driveway, but <laughs> that's... Oh, uh, gosh, probably should put it in reverse first. That is not where I want to go. So, interesting. It, um... It was attempting to go down a driveway that's not on the map. So that's, that's interesting. I, I didn't think it would go somewhere it wasn't on the map. But I don't know any of these people. I'm not going to go down their driveway. So I'll just turn it around. And uh, get a little bit more turned around. And I'll just tell it to navigate home and see what happens. Right door pillar camera, blocked or blinded, that's interesting, can't imagine why, it's not raining. downhill part. So it's at 15, but it slowed down to 10, and now... Or did I set it at 10? I put it back to 15 there. It always seems to slow down approaching this bridge. It likes to be very cautious with the bridge, and now it'll speed back up. The last time I came down here, it did the exact same thing with the bridge, going back up the hill, or at the base of the hill. From a visualization standpoint, it seems to have a little bit harder time at night, but it's still staying on the road just fine. It hasn't once tried to actually cross over the edge of the road. Just rear wheel drive, so it's not the all wheel drive model. It's the uh, original early 2018 rear wheel drive. Sugar Ridge Road. Now they are left on 
to Sugar Ridge Road. People driving down the road. Now turn left onto Orange Grove. 